Today, we're going to run a side-by-side -side comparison of the Vertex Combat Pants versus the Disruptive Products Combat Pants. Both are a great pair of pants. The reason I chose to put these side-by-side -side is because the price point is only about $4 off. The Vertex Combat Pants, which you can find on Amazon for around $144.95, and the Disruptive Combat Pant, you could find on Chase Tactical for about $49.95. Shout out to Grantham. Thank you for the promo code. If you go to Vertex website and you type in Grantham in the coupon code, it'll give you 25% off your total purchase, which is awesome. Chase Tactical sent me a email alert notifying me that they had a sale going on. I got 20% off these combat pants. The color is very different even though the pattern is relatively the same. They are both in multicam. This is going to be your more traditional hue which is uh, almost faded but does blend in with the Southern California fields, outdoor fields that we have. Unless you're more on the rainy side then these pants would do because they are a lot heavier on the greens. These are not airsoft pants, these are both real world pants with totally different styles and capabilities. Starting at the top, the disruptive pant is going to be self-closing. What I mean by that is it comes to you with this very long hook and loop strap where you can pull and cinch that would eliminate the belt if you did not want to run a belt and once you fit it to size you can go ahead and just cut those off and maybe run a lighter through it to seal that cut and you would have it exactly fit to you. The Vertex Combat Pant is more traditional however it does have two elastic bands on each side that's going to give you a little bit of stretch which gives you a little bit of comfort. And let's go over the belt loops. If you're running a, a war belt you're going to want some pretty hefty belt loops. I currently run the Aronin's Tactic War Belt. The first step of that war belt is you're going to run this two inch interior loop belt. It is very snug on the vortex. This is a two inch war belt, so that's going to give you your two inch belt loop right there. The disruptive pant is going to give you a lot more play. It's, it is not as snug. This is about two and a half inches, I'd say. So it's going to give you a, a little bit more, more options there. But a loop, maybe a little loose, I'm not, not sure about your comfortability. You got a single vertex stamped button on this top closure. With the disruptive pants, you have that good two is one, one is none, and you have two snap buttons. Um, as well as the snap buttons, you're going to have an extra step of Velcro, so you're going to get a good seal, and they're both high crotch designs. What the disruptive combat pant has that the Vertex doesn't have is your an interior silicone bead. Uh, it's a triple bead that runs across the entire waistband. It does add a little bit of weight to the pant. However, it's going to make sure that your shirt does not come out of your pants if you're running it tucked in. Very grippy and it will stay in place. Another feature that the disruptive pant has that your typical BDU or your high-end BDU, which the Vertex pant is, is going to be this strip of webbing that's on the back of this pant. This webbing is going to add a lot of flexibility, a lot of breathability. Weight-wise, uh, we'll, we'll see how that, that comes to play at the end. The back of this pant does not have it, so you're going to have more comfortability and a better breathability on these pants. The designers of this pants thought process was how active this person was going to be. The entire crotch 
is the same webbing where the vertex pants is going to be your same material throughout. It is double stitched, it's very strong, it's not going to fail on you. The quality of these pants are top notch, but the technology of this pants, the paintball manufacturers that, that designed the pants originally have 10 year old paintball pants that are the same material that have been in play and they've held up. This is going to add an, another sense of comfort. There's going to be very little chafing. It, it's a very comfortable material, almost like sweatpants, and the breathability. So w when you are running, it is going to breathe for you and give you that comfort. You're not going to get all sweaty and hot. And when it's cold, it, it, this is thick enough to retain the heat. It's just a, a very well thought material. And it goes down the side, all the way down to the cargo pocket. If you go into the cargo pocket. So the ventilation in these pants are top notch. So I'd say one point extra for for the thought into that. It's even down here. It's another stretch point above the knee. This does not have stretch points above the knee. So enough about the ventilation. Let's move on to the pockets. Both pockets have the square cut design, which I believe is a superior design to your traditional straight cut. It creates a, a, a bigger perimeter area so you have easier access. The front pocket of the disruptive pants is seems like it's a lot deeper, so I would say it has more room. But what the vertex pants has that it doesn't have is if you see this seam right here it looks like it's sewn in because it has a very small zipper and I believe everything on this is a YKK zipper I apologize it's a vertex zipper is this concealed pocket if you want to conceal something or put something away keys cell phone well that's a good zipper right there and it just disappears the disruptive products company changed the nylon material right here. They understood that a lot of people run multi-tools or pocket knives which have a clip and the clip riding on and off does wear on this. So this stress point even though it's it's very strong and sturdy and it's it's double stitched and I know they they put that in their thought process too which is why it's so strong right here but disruptive went ahead and they changed the material to a strong material where it's not going to fray and they went ahead and they triple stitched this you'll see it's triple stitching on this main pocket and on the waistband where you, you only see a, a single stitch right there I would like them to see I would like to have seen a double stitch run across that waistband these are your anything pockets your, your kill rag your uh, barrel plug or kind of dip whatever you run your front pocket is gonna accordion out and give you the capability of running grenades or whatever it is you want to run whereas the front pocket on these pants are more specifically designed these have a double velcro, these have a single velcro. The surface area is pretty close because it is wider. This was designed to be able to be able to tuck in, which is why they have another velcro on the inside. You do not have that here, however you could do that here, but it does create an opening. Uh, it forces out the way the flap's designed because it's bigger. Or this one flap is tapered, so you're not going to have that feature you're gonna say why would I want that feature for for quick access to this pocket this pocket comes with an elastic band if you wanted to run a pistol magnum in, in the elastic you could if you wanted to run a single magazine but you could run it outside the elastic so you have that pistol mag capability in the front pockets on these pants where the vertex put it on the side. So on the side it has a very concealed pocket. You wouldn't even know the pocket was there but you could stick your knife in there 
multi-tool in there or your Glock mag in there. Um, this is a Glock 22 or Glock 17 size magazine and it fits very snug in there. It's not going to slip out. Very snug. It's a quick enough draw if you want to hold two extra mags. There's one on each side. So you have one on each side on this as well if you stuck stuck these both in. I mean, you don't, need, you don't have to stick them in. It's just an option. If you want quick draw, I would keep them closed if I was any running pistols, but you can run two, two in there or two on the side. Let's go to the rear pockets. So again, you have that option of tucking in the pocket with the flap. It has a tapered flap, so that way it fits in the pocket with the added velcro to hold it down. Uh, the design of these two back pockets hold two pistol mags. So you got two pistol mags in there, two pistol mags in there, one pistol mag in the front on each side, so that would give you a total of six pistol mags if you wanted to run that. It's an option that uh, I, probably, I don't even have that many pistol mags. That's another op that's an option. It does have the side pockets as well. It's a little loose for, uh, I'd say it's way too loose for a pistol mag. You lose your pistol, but anything with a clip, your multi-tool or your pocket knife. Uh, what I don't like about this one is you do have a single stitch across here and it does look like this is gonna wear out this part, this point right here. I would like them to see maybe some kind of more reinforcement on that pocket. On the vertex pants, you can have one point of opening, which is your Velcro tab right here, and it's sewn down right here on that end. I like that feature, it's an extra sense of security as far as it's gonna be one more obstacle for an object to fall out of your pants. Uh, it's not going to make grabbing things easily, but I tend not to run anything on my back because I sit down. On the side cargo pockets, you're going to have uh, a much bigger bellow on the vertex pants. It does come with two internal elastic bands, which are more for rifle mags your AK or your M4 magazines fit well, I believe you would be able to fit the uh, M14, mag any type of 308 style magazine as well. It does have the same style pocket as the rear with the one Velcro tab and the sewn shut down there, which uh, I'm a fan of. Just such security, it really helps hold it down um, with just one access and it's quick enough uh, on the draw um, if you wanted if you're like me and you don't like running a dump pouch I run the vertex pants the side cargo pocket of the disruptive pants has the same option of running the tabs on the inside and also has two elastic bands. However, one's larger than the other and is designed for a rifle mag and one pistol mag. So these pants are, are very pistol friendly in comparison to those. Another added feature which I probably would prefer not having is this uh, zipper right here on the side. It, it does vent. This has a, a mesh so you can hold something in there, um, but I think that's just like an added feature that I, I would for not be there, but if you, you know, who knows, maybe you find a, a something that you'd want to keep in there. But it's a YKK zipper, which is you know your top quality zippers. It's really strong. It shouldn't it shouldn't fail on you. 
onto the front of the pants is the kneecap knee pad option. Now you'll notice that the disruptive pants has a thick seat belt material sewn into it. It's a very aggressive look. Um, that's what caught my eye when I was looking at these pants. Um, totally not your typical Milsim. However, these are gunfighter pants. These are not airsoft paintball pants. These are military option. Um, and if I was going into the battlefield um, and wanted something that was more practical for an active shooting situation, then these are the pants that I would go with. Um, I haven't field tested these out yet, so I will be doing that at the operations line closet. We'll be field testing both these pants and um, maybe we'll do a part two. But anyway, back to these. Both have a kneecap that can be replaced from the outside. That's a really nice feature instead of the pants where you have to basically turn it inside out and then put the knee pad in. The Vertex pants has a small Velcro opening right there. And I think the thought process behind that was so that way the knee pad didn't slip out. And when and if you have, say, this style knee pad, that's not really a, a problem. But not all knee pads are this flexible. Once it's in there, it, it, it does have a little bit of wiggle room. However, they did put some thought into that and on the rear has the option to cinch it down onto your knee. I do use this feature when I do bend my knee I can feel this thickness uh, behind but again material choice this is very strong it's not going to wear out on me whereas something more comfortable like elastic may, might fail over time so I know that this is going to last um, but I do feel it. These ones have a much larger opening. The backing that makes contact with your skin is this very breathable, very soft material, so it's going to be very comfortable on the knee. I had knee pads uh, that were square and more sturdy that were very hard to get into the vertexes small pocket so this large pocket option um, is makes it getting things in and out a lot faster even though these ones were not a problem the other pants the ones that are a hard more of a hard square shape um, would take a little bit longer I mean you'd get it in there but just the speed and this elastic material behind I, I find more comfortable There's also a, la a, a small a bit of elastic behind the Velcro because, again, the research and development with active pants was the ventilation, and that's a high heat friction spot, so having extra ventilation there helps. On these pants as well, you're going to have the ability to cinch it closer to your knee. Um, I found that these... This material versus this material. This is a little bit more rough. Uh, a little bit it has a little bit more rigidity in the material by itself. The vertex does, and it's a 50/50. It's a 50/50 nylon cotton, where the disruptive pants is a 65% polyester, 35% cotton. So it's it has a little bit more collapse in it. So I think comfortability-wise, you're going to have more comfortability out of these pants, uh, more flexibility, and um, the strength is there. And with, with the blend of different materials, the, the breathability is going to be uh, a much more higher than the Vertex pants. As we get to the bottom, um, 
you'll see that the side ankle pockets, uh, you have them on the vertex pants. And from the other reviews that I, I've seen on these pants, they have, I, could, I think the, believe the thought process behind that was tourniquet on this side and combat gauze on this side. I run my tourniquets on my in my IFAC and then one on my primary weapon on the butt strap to the butt stock. Um, I don't like running anything out on my ankles. Just adding that weight on the ankles, it, it just it's not comfortable and it, it seems like it just the it, swinging back and forth. I'm not a fan of these, so I even took them off of my Emerson uh, pants or or which are your like cry precision style pants, which also have these pockets. I'm glad that the disruptive products company didn't put put any pockets down here. They provided these gussets down here, very comfortable material, so it's not going to be chafing on you. Um, with this elastic tight tightening option, keep the bugs out, sink it real tight around your boot, and have that flexibility. So it's really going to hold onto your boot. It's not. It has the give to do that. This is kind of funny, and I'm not sure about this yet. Uh, I, to me, it, it looks like it's going to snag, and if I, you know, this has the option of being very loud against walls, but, you know, I think if, if you were, I think, winding it up like this, and then running this Velcro tab in between is, is going to do the job on this, and hold it in place and, and keep it quiet. So these pants are basically your typical military BDU style with a, a different twist as far as the features are a little bit more fine-tuned and the quality is just a little bit higher or maybe a, a lot bit higher. It's probably gonna have, it's gonna have a lot lower fail rate and you do have the kneecap app options and the option to run two rifle magazines and two pistol magazines. Four rifle magazines, sorry. Four rifle magazines and two pistol magazines. I think these pants are, are just a next step ahead. I do like the color pattern on, on these more than these. I would like, it'd be nice if this color pattern reflected more of this. However, the technology behind this um, with the different stretch points, the different materials, the reinforcement on the knees, the option to run one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a lot of pistol magazines, uh, rifle magazines, two rifle magazines. I just think these are uh, a lot better. I'm going to run both of them, field test on both of them, and, and I'll go ahead and part two it for you guys uh, in case you're interested in these pants and how well they performed and held up. But I, it's comfort wise, I could tell I think these are going to be the, the winners. Um, stay tuned and subscribe so you can find out uh, how these both held up at Operation Line Claws. And if you subscribe, you're going to see some other gear videos coming up as far as different boot choices that we came with and different eye protection um, primarily the ESS tactical glasses we're gonna do a couple reviews on those and uh, different airsoft magazine choices so uh, subscribe and uh, hit that bell uh, like the video thanks bye